Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make vichyssoise, or vichyssoise. It's Lunch with Lisa. Welcome to my decade series, where I'm taking you on a food journey through the decades, and we're gonna make a popular dish from each decade and a dessert. So today, we're gonna make Vichy Soise. Now, that is a dish created in 1917, so we're in the 1910s now. And in France, they were eating, I don't know when this soup was created, it's probably been made like a long time. So in France, they would make a hot soup, it would just be potatoes, leeks, and chicken stock, and then you'd mash it or blend it up or send it through a food mill. Then you could top it with some herbs, some chives, whatever you want. And it was served warm. But a French chef, oh, oh, and there was cream in it. A French chef said that he would make this soup and cool it down with cold cream, which is normal. That's what you do. You take it off the heat and you put the cold cream in and then you eat it. So what's, I don't remember his, okay, so I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'll put it down below. So in 1917, he creates this soup for the Ritz Carlton Hotel in New York. That's the story. Calls it Vichy Soise. And it's served cold. So today I do have some cold soup that I made yesterday, chilled it overnight, and I'm gonna try it out cold. It was delicious, warm. My son and I ate it warm. So you could eat this either cold or warm if you want to. It's made the same way. And then I actually have Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child, and she has this, of course, she has this in the very front of her book, page 39. And it's literally the first soup in the soup section, and she tells you how to make it and then how to make the Vichy sauce, which is basically it's just served cold. And then she also gives you tips on how to customize it to your liking. You can add vegetables. You can swap out the chicken stock for vegetable stock if you want, total vegetarian. You could literally add anything to this to soup it up. <laughs> like you could make, I could put chicken in here if I wanted to add more protein. Like, but this, this is just a really, really delicious base uh, for a soup. And you can eat it as is, or add stuff to it to your liking. If you wanna like crank up the macros, make it a little bit more macro friendly and higher in protein, go for it. This is a great recipe and I'm excited to share it with you. At first it's so intimidating, Vichy Soise, you know, but it's so easy. Let's dive in. For this recipe, you're gonna need just a few things. Three cups of peeled sliced potatoes, three cups of sliced white leek. You're just gonna use the white end, not the green, but you could use the green in something else. So set those aside. One and a half quarts of white stock, chicken stock, or canned chicken broth. You want a half to a whole cup of whipping cream, two to three tablespoons of minced chives, salt and white pepper, and then of course some bowls, some chilled soup bowls, if you will, to serve this in if you're gonna eat it cold. So I started by peeling my potatoes and then slicing them up pretty thin so that they cook pretty fast. Then I chopped off the green part of my leeks. And with leeks, they come with a lot of dirt inside. Just be aware you need to wash them. So what I like to do is fill up a bowl of water, or you could do this over the sink. And I like to slice each leek in half, but I like to do it the long way. If you look at the center, there's like a little oval shape. And I like to slice right in the center of that oval. It makes it easier to get the, the dirt out. And you can just rinse it in a bowl, or you can do it under running water. Just make sure you open it up and get all that dirt out from the inside. Then you're gonna slice your leeks and add those with your potatoes to one and a half quarts of chicken stock or whatever broth or stock you wanna use. And then add some salt in here. You just wanna make it a little tasty. Don't worry about putting enough or too much yet. Just sprinkle in some salt. Then you're gonna simmer your vegetables, partially cover them, don't fully cover them. So leave your lid ajar, let some of that steam escape. You're gonna do this for about 40 to 50 minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Now you could also cook this in a pressure cooker. You wanna use 15 pounds of pressure and do this for only five minutes or it starts tasting like pressure cooked food. Then you're gonna release the pressure and simmer for 15 more minutes. And once your soup is cooked, I let it cool off just a tad and I poured it into my blender to puree. Now you could also use an immersion blender for this, but I couldn't find mine. Or if you have one, you could use a food mill, but that's kind of like old fashioned, I don't know. Not many people have those anymore. And once you've pureed it, you can pour it into a bowl and add about half to a whole cup of your whipping cream. Stir it up, salt and pepper this to taste. So I just sprinkled in some white pepper to taste. And then I over salted it just a little bit because it will kind of lose its saltiness. That's what Julia Child said. She said to 
seasoned to taste, over salting very slightly as salt loses its savor in a cold dish. Aha, uh -huh. and then you're gonna chill it. So stick this in the fridge or do what I did and take out a couple bowls and eat it warm. Sprinkle on some chives and eat it right then and there. It is delicious. Then put the rest in the fridge for the next day and you can eat it chilled. This is, I haven't tasted it chilled yet. So this is my first time to taste it chilled. Pretty thick, I love it. It's good. I'm glad I oversalted it because yeah, it does lose some of the saltiness. I love it chilled, but I think I like it better warm. So I might heat this up later when I want to eat it. All of it. <laughs> Listen to this. Soup from France. Vichyssoise. Vichyssoise soup is how we would say it in France, but it'd be fine in English to say Vichyssoise. Vichyssoise from French. Vichyssoise soup. Okay. So at first, I didn't understand the difference. <laughs> Vichyssoise in French, in France. V, V, E, with a long I, E, Vichyssoise. Um, but in America, it could, it could be a, an I sound. So, Vichyssoise, vich, vich. So, if you want to be fancy, you say a Vichyssoise. And if you want to be American, you just say Vichyssoise. <laughs> I had no idea how to pronounce this. Okay. So thanks for joining me today with the popular dish from the 1910s. And you won't want to miss my next episode, which is a dessert from the 1910s. So if you would just drop a like, leave a comment. It really helps me out. And if you like my videos, consider subscribing. It's lunch with Lisa.